Welcome back guys to Pokemon Y where we stand outside the Anastar City Gym while I just find myself admiring the music going on in this town. It's really, really kick ass. But shall we head inside here and find out what's going on? Or should I rectify a wrong first and foremost? Because of course Talonflame has had an item on it and that's the reason Acrobatics hasn't been doing crazy moves. Yes, that is the reason I thought it was for enemy Pokemon having the moves, but obviously I'm completely wrong, so let's rectify that problem and head on inside and see what we can do in the Anastar City Gym. Right, what type are the monsters in here? The Pokemons? The Pokemonsters? What do you know, Daddy-o? Here you are, future champ! Wow, <laughs> this place is amazing, Sumo Ball! Try getting your head around that one, right? Nice! Even if you find your way around, you'll have to watch out for all those psychic types, right? They've got some crazy powers on my right, but don't give up and you'll find your way. I'm sure, but... Yes. What type of Pokemon should I throw in the front line then? Because Gardevoir's going to be not very effective all the way through. Though that's kind of a good thing in some ways as well. We've got Lucario still typing helps, but fighting attacks mean that I don't do much damage. Physical attacks like Venusaur's got could be quite useful, with Venus shocking and poisoning them with Toxic. Greninja, though, has Dark Typing, so I say he's the more interesting one of the lot, because Dark Typing should resist Psychic quite nicely, unless there's any horrible tricks to come. So, I don't understand what you mean about the ball, though, but let's go away. Been a while, it has indeed. And I looked down at the bottom screen, and then something happened. Right, so this is the maze inside a ball, what you're speaking about, and stepping on the center again, we bring it all back. Crazy, though while Greninja has dark typing, we don't have any really good dark typing moves, I don't think. We only have one to teach by TM, and that's just payback. I'm not sure if I should put it on or not. Don't be distracted by your surroundings, focus on unleashing your true power. Will do. Hopefully Greninja has enough power to be able to knock you down. Psychic Pascal sent out Exeggutor! Well, that's not a good typing to start with, is it? In fact, Aren't all my moves kind of not very good against you here? I think that might be the case. Right. So... Hmm. Switch Pokemon, I say, and go for the acrobatics. Man! How dare you be grass psychic so all my water attacks and rock attacks aren't very effective and stuff like that. Wood hammer you can use, but at least that's not very effective against Talonflame. Now, damage by recall. Oh, that's nice. Time for some more acrobatics. Well, that HP restoring power actually nearly tops me up straight to full. Nicely done. I'm trying to tell you guys whenever I'm online to film via my Facebook, so yeah. Go on there if you want to know when I'm on. But still, Talonflame gained a boost of 2,000 experience. Greninja gets quite a bit as well. Lucario grew to level 54. I think maybe I should teach him payback then. Right, Psychic Pascal is defeated. Yes, when you remain calm and undistracted, your Pokemon can realize their full potential, I'm sure. Right. Payback then. Let's try and find it. Or should we sort our bag a little bit as well here by pressing select? We'll sort it by name. Might be easier to find payback after all. Right, so we know where the P's are, after the M's and the N's and the... Whoa, whoa, we don't have that many TM's really, if you think about it. Right, the user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, this attack's power will be doubled. Hmm. Does that mean that it actually takes another turn to be used? If so, then that wouldn't be that great. That wouldn't be that good at all. Which makes me a bit unhappy. Hmm. Do I teach it or do I not? I think I should leave it then. Maybe use something a bit more physical like Tannum Flame than Greninja might be better? Let's keep moving on. Through the gym we go, and there's where the maze element comes in. This kind of forks you can choose from and whatnot, but nothing over here. But man, how do they get this inside the gym anyway? Is this an illusion of its own making or something like that? These people's powers or whatever are quite amazing if they manage to create this. They're not just foe psychics, they're quite good psychics. We are underneath where we started. Not sure if that's where we want to be. But many a teleport and warp has taken us around to nowhere 
in particular? Any trainers to face, to fight? Anyone? Hello! You can go anywhere as long as you never give up. Well, at the moment, I'm just walking around weirdness. Very weirdness. You were challenged by Psychic Harry. Sent out a Medi Cham. Hello, sir. Go on, Greninja. So you are... Some weird typings, that's for sure. We're not going to hit you with extra sensory. We'll just hit you with the big powerful surf attack, I think. We'll take the special defense power. Which might be good in the psychic gym, of course. And a big surf attack is not enough, but he's psyching up at the moment. Right. Stat changes have been copied, so he's got some more special defense now. So should we go physical with Water Shuriken? In fact, two attacks is enough to bring him down. Bye bye, Medicham. Nicely done there, Greninja. Kind of helps when the opponent doesn't attack you back, though. Who's out next? Oh, Psychic Harry. Only having one Psychic Pokemon at a time. There may not be anyone who can stand in the way of you and your Pokemon. Why, well, thank you. Greninja is my most powerful. And a mighty level 57 or more. Soon to be, you know what I mean? Just gonna keep on leveling them up. So which way do we head this time? Not that fork, that's for sure. Well, we have ourselves a standalone platform, which is interesting. Well, we're looking for warps, are we not? New places to go, though. Can I jump over? That looks weird. Hmm. I'm guessing I probably can't. No, unfortunately not. So further and deeper into the gym we go. Might reach the gym leader soon at this rate, I say, but then it is a maze and it's taking a long time to get through. Here we go, weird pink platforms, but finally we see more trainers again. I had a vision that the battle we are about to have will be different from all previous battles. Probably. Or, no, wait a second, that would mean I lose. I don't want to do that. Psychic Arthur sent out a Riniclus. Okay. Okay, that Pokemon has three evolutionary stages? That I didn't know. You look crazy, sir. I have no clue about your typings. So we're just gonna surf you down. My crazy ninja poses. One big hit is quite good. Skill swap. Right, you've now got Torrent, and I've got Magic Guard. Right. I'm not sure what Magic Guard does, but I don't think you need your water moves powered up in a pinch. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work, sir. But you evolved to be somewhere around the region of cute, I have to say. Just a little bit off 58, you and your Pokemon look like you know how to share your burdens with one another. I'm sure that's how we put it. Now let's keep going. Oh, it seems I'm doubling back on myself, but we did get to see there, I think, the gym leader which we will be facing. Very mysterious, daubed in a cloak. Hello, madame, would you like to battle me? The gym exists only by absorbing the power of the cosmos. If you can do that, why are you having Pokemon around? You've got the power of the cosmos at your disposal, Hex Maniac Melanie. Sends out a Gardevoir, our favorite, but an enemy, nonetheless. Right, time to beat you up as physically as possible, eh? So, I'm guessing considering Surf is special... Oh, wait a second, I can't see the typings I'm doing. Ah! I'm guessing we should have used Shur Water Shuriken, really. You've sealed any moves that its target shares with. I don't think there's that many, gotta say. So Water Shuriken, go! We want multiple attacks here. Oh, actually, we're gonna need it if we're gonna KO you. Got one more after this. Unless that critical. Because that third hit seemed to do just a little bit more damage. But no, no critical or anything. Gonna level up, that's for sure. Nicely done, Greninja. Venusaur grew to level 56 on top of that. Hex Maniac is defeated. They only have one Pokemon each. Hmm, what is the source of your power? Generally, it seems to be you not moving at using attacking moves. Or more or less, no one using attacking moves might be the problem. What's on the other paths, the other branches? Is there another trainer? I think you'll find there is. Hello, Hex Maniac. Would you like to battle? Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. They like to say things over and over. 
Right then, Arachna. You sending out a Jinx? I was about to say, you sending out some kind of... Like, I don't know. Something Pokemon. Arachna would be Spider, that's what I was thinking. Right, so you're Ice Psychic Typing. Which means that overall... I don't have anything that does super damage to you, do I? I guess you could send out... Well, that worked. Use your fake tears if you want. That lowers my special defense harshly, but surely a water shower can go to work there. I was thinking I should switch in Talonflame and just abuse the ice, but... Well... Jinx isn't so much on the overall defense stats, is she? I'll take the boosted ton of experience as well, and Aurorus grows to level 55. Our team just keeps getting stronger. I didn't cheer hard enough for my Pokemon. That's right, cheering is a kind of unseen power. The power of positive belief and all that is quite strong. Right, so, I'll thank you for the HP restoring power, but it seems like no psychic Pokemon ever want to attack me. Not that I'm supposed to be going up this warp, mind you. I can't believe I froze when I was saying the Arachna thing. I all of a sudden went out of my head. I was like, ah oh, yes, Arachna, spider. Surely it should be a spider type. And then it went. It went. Are we almost there? That's the question. Right, this seems to curl into nothingness. What's this way then? More Pokemon trainers? Or more, I should say, a Pokemon leader? A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. I'm just starting off that simply, but you must be a powerful psychic to be able to A, float, B, use the Olympia as your name. The power of the cosmos and whatnot. You were challenged by leader Olympia, sent out a sigilith. Hello. Was it flying psychic, steel psychic? Hmm. Questions, questions, psychic. Right, so shall we hit it with a smackdown, considering it might have levitate? And it's super effective, that might be another reason to use it as well. I guess it's psychic flying then or something on those? But light screen is going to boost the special defense for the whole party. That's not good, despite the fact that we want to hit with mainly physicals anyway. It might be good to switch in a certain friend next time with some acrobatics. Farewell, Sigilith. Come on, bring me another Pokemon. Another one. Offer me up another one to make faint. About to send in a Slow King. Will you switch your Pokemon? I think I will, because I think I have a type advantage to use. Greninja, you've done well this dungeon so far. Not taking a lick of damage. Oh, you know, you did take a tiny bit thinking about it. But then it was healed up, so it looks like there's none. Hi, Slow King. Would you like a really peppily dance or blizzard kind of thing? I, I'm sure you would. So that's going to hurt quite a bit. I apologize, Slow King. Well, what's the final Pokemon on the list, I wonder? With Greninja growing up to level 59, nearly level 60, and Meowstick. Now Meowstick, how many times have we fought you and beat you up quite horrifically? I'd say it's quite a lot at this point in time. Not enough for you to be able to stand up to me, I'm sure. Poor Meowstick, always getting all the stick, really. Acrobatics, go! And we'll take some HP restoring power there for 1 HP. Nicely done. I guess that might be a little bit of leveling up or Eevee. I don't know. When did Talonflame lose 1 HP? Flinchton couldn't move. How dare you. Acrobatics! And now with the extra base power, we critically hit as well. And another gym leader is defeated. Maybe not using typing advantages so much, but still. Brute strength is one thing you can always use against the psychic Pokemon. Wants to learn the move close combat. Right, what kind of skill is close combat? Fight and type, I'm sure. 120 power, you say? The user fights the target up close without guarding itself. It also lowers the user's defense and special defense stats. It has a kind of trade-off. Should we switch in for Rock Smash? Just for now, just to see what it looks like. And then if we need to Rock Smash anything, of course, we can Rock Smash it away. TMs are good. Constant reusement. The God of War grew to level 56. And we defeated Leader Olympia. Create your own path, let nothing get in your way. Your fate, your future. 
and we received a fair bit of cash for winning. Now the psychic badge, a testament to your skill. Proof of your power. We should hang it up on Gardevoir. That's what you should be able to do. You should be able to augment your Pokemon with like badges. Here, have a psychic badge. A symbol of trust, level 90 or below, Pokemon obey. Lady of just a few words, I see. Calm mind also earned? Special attack and special defense are increased. The Calm Mind TM. Power that takes life awakens. Voices of woe. That is your future. Back from whence you came, you can be transported there. Whoop to the entrance? Sure. Farewell. What a crazy lady. With such power, but such weirdness going on in one body. Well, that's said and done. Oh. I'm sure getting the psychic badge wasn't too much trouble for you. Right, Alessandri? At that, to the right there. I think I'll challenge you to a daily battle when this trip is all said and done. Seems like a neighborly thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Battling tough trainers is the best way to get stronger after all. A rematch right now or later? What could this be? Is Team Flare right there? Ah, Alessandri. Pokemon trainers, I come to you by the Hollow Caster to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who isn't in our group, and return the world to a beautiful natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly, and conflicts will raise the land from end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon and wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is a due to you all. A jur? I don't like that. Let's beat that guy up next to us and shake him down for information. What was Lissandri saying? Wiping the slate clean? Eliminating everyone but Team Flare? Lissandri, let's look for Team Flare's headquarters. I might have an inkling where that could be. Where could Lissandri be? Perhaps it's where we first met him, in Lumio City. You're saying to go to the cafe, but, well, suspicions fall here. Team Flare forever, because his outfit has extra pizzazz. To drink espresso at Lissandri Cafe. Really, they're hurting us along, aren't they? Alright, you as well? Do you know where Magenta Plaza is? It's next to the Pokemon Center by Prism Tower, which is in the center of Lumio City. There's nothing quite like the coffee from the cafe next to Magenta Plaza. Team Flare are also advertising your overall shops and all that? Weird in itself. Alright then, shall we fly straight back, considering Talonflame can do just that? We should be safe for traveling anyway, in some senses. I mean, we are completely full HP, more or less. Fly straight over to Lumio City. Oh, I actually have to use the cursor. We not used fly yet. I guess I haven't. I've had it for a long time, but here we go. I'm quite baffled by the fact I haven't used it. Get in your Pokeball. And let's see what's going on in town, eh? Right. Lots of people talking about... PR videos and the whatnot, but I think someone said that I should have went up in a mall somewhere high up on top. Is it there or further along? Because someone said I missed some really weird happening. So let's see if we can check it out. It should be in this area of town after all. Because the tower's down that way. Hmm. So where is that section again? It was over here, yes? He says, completely doubtful of himself. Oh, that's this is a completely different place. Where is this? Right, keep trying and don't give up. I finally reached super rank. What is this place? I will judge your skill at battling with a battle test. What would you like to do? Try a download test, a battle test, or... What is a battle test? Oh, we'd like to try. I'm sorry, it's probably still too early if you... Oh, please come back and you finish your journey and grow stronger. We hope to see you again. That's a shame. To take a battle test, you have to be even stronger than the champion, you know. So basically, I have to be the champion. But then, a bit more. A little bit more. Surely just a tiny bit more. Not too much, eh? Maybe really too much, but lots of people standing around. It's just bursting with shops and she can't decide where to go next. Now, where was that mall that I encountered? Was it over here? This is the Hotel Richest Me. <laughs> That's a nice pronunciation, wasn't it? Richest Me. What is going on here? Oh, hello, Mr. Bonding. Hey! Hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on O Powers. Let me ask you just in case. No, I don't need to hear an explanation, but I do like powers. We received an O power. I can now use bargain power level one. You can buy items cheaply at Pokemon's bargain power. Pretty cool. You can use O powers and PSS and etc. etc. 
Nice to meet you again. A little bit of exploration gives us yet another bonus power-up. But in this massive hotel, what is really going on? Welcome to Hotel Resistance Mime. I can tell you have a knack for getting things done. I know it's sudden, but do you want to work here in the in the hotel? Okay. What work would you like to do? Should we do some like lost and found? Lost and found is, please go to the reception counter. Hey, hello and welcome. I'm Essie. I'm in charge of the Lost and Found here. I'm guessing here, but I bet you've never visited... No, I haven't. I haven't. Well, basically my job is to, like, find things that I guess I've lost. Get it? The biggest trick is not to step on anything. You've got to be, like, totally observant. Right. So, another guess has gone and lost some stuff. Alrighty, here we go. Come on. And we get, like, teleported into a room. The word is that one of my guests checked out but carelessly left some things behind. Let's see. Okay, my notes say we should find one reading glasses. Be careful, those kind of things are easy to break, so watch your clod hoppers. I'm guessing- Oh, maybe I shouldn't move around. The item finder can come in quite useful here? Oh, there's a time and place for everything but not now. The item finder is not good enough. So I have to kind of like step- Oh, okay, you found the reading glasses. Step slowly and keep pressing A. Check every spot we're gonna go into. Good job out there, kiddo. We found everything we were supposed to. Oh, my Cloud9 over here. That was a totally perfect, awesome job. What a weird place. Thanks for your help. Your job for me today was perfect. I heard the manager praise your work too. Here's to the day's compensation. 2,000 in cash. I don't mind getting money, that's for sure. So shall we undertake more tasks in this hotel next time? I'm not sure because we're supposed to be finding Team Flares HQ after all. So tune in next time for more Pokemon Y. Bye-bye.